This video is just to show the, uh, the new mark collections that have been added to the alternating effect. So basically if I add a, an alternating effect to the timeline and say I want to do it over this period of time, I'll drag it out. Now as one effect you don't have much control over that. You can change the interval so at the moment every half a second it's going to alternate but that, um, that doesn't really suit depending on where you want to actually change the, uh, the point of alteration. Um, so previously I've had to put in quite a number of alternating effects because obviously the beats aren't perfect or you just want to do something a bit different. So at the moment that's the standard alternating effect. So if I just hit play. Mm -hmm. As you can see obviously the trees were um, alternating all over the place. So I've just changed the, the group level to 400. So basically the, the whole trees are the same colour. Play that again. So as you see it's just alternating every uh, half a second, not in time with the beat or anything. Uh, this is where the mark collections have come in. Basically I've pre-added some mark collections here, or marks to a mark collection, based on where I actually want the alter alternating effect to, to change. So what I've got to do then is, um, if you haven't got any mark collections, you need to create a mark collection. I already created one, it's called Default Marks. Created my marks. And then what you do is you come back to the alternating effect. And up here, alternating source, you've got none, so that's basically the standard effect. And then if you select mark collection, all right, and select the actual mark collection uh, you're using, so Default Marks. So what that'll do is, every time it hits a mark, it'll alternate. So now basically when I hit play you'll, you'll see that it'll change colour, or alternate on those marks in time with the beat or whatever you want to do. So I'll just hit play now. There you go, as you can see one effect now is um, makes it a lot easier to to change the alternating where you want it. Um, basically, obviously, if you want to change, start on that mark and end on that mark. Select the effect. You know, you can do uh, Control Shift S that adjusts it to the, the first mark, and E will adjust it to E or B. We'll do both ends at the same time. So now you've got it starting right on that first one and ending where you want it. And that's the new mark collections within the alternating effect. Sorry, just to add one more thing. You know, once you've got the effect in place, um, you know, if you just want to move a mark, you don't have to adjust anything else. You can move a mark and as you'll see it automatically adjusts where it's alternating. So if you want to fine tune it, it automatically updates the, the effect. Same with if you want to make it longer and add more marks. It just adds more points where it's going to alternate or drag the effect along. It automatically updates the effect. 